For the next part of the experiment, we need to connect up the platinum resistance thermometer, which is this thing. It's the exact kind of thing you might ram into a chicken uh, if you wanted to check if it were cooked, or, you know, ram into your best friend Chero if he betrayed you by uh, not getting you any Christmas gifts. So the, the first thing that we want to do uh, is connect the A, the A line of the circuit. If you're looking at the circuit diagram, in the book when I do this, it'll hopefully make sense to you. But we can't short out this bit, which means I kind of have to piggyback um, the cable over this way like that. Um, and then too, if you look at the diagram, I need to connect from D over to the galvanometer. So that's why they're both yellow. Uh, so I can put the yellow to yellow like that. Um, and then I need to connect from B uh, to the the kind of top part of the circuit running around here now a lot of people think oh well it has to go actually here and then it's it's a stretch I could probably make it fit but you know why bother because it's exactly the same uh, function if we just connect it across here um, so that should be uh, the wiring done and now that it won't obscure your vision of the upper part I'm going to plug in the thermometer and there we go the first thing we need to do is uh, just check the, the balance point when it's just on the bench. So you can see it's simply sitting on the bench in basically room temperature air. Obviously I'm insanely hot, so it's probably slightly raised the temperature above 20 degrees Celsius, but you know, we're going to make do. Um, and then I'm just going to adjust the uh, helipot until we find the balance point. Okay, so that should be about there. So, um, hopefully you can see that. But I'm going to take a photo in a second. We next need to test the thermistor in boiling water. Uh, so I'm going to do that using this kettle and this cup. So I'm going to turn the kettle on. Uh, and just set it to heat up um, and probably I'll just jump cut to when the kettle's boiled because it feels kind of kind of unfair to sit and make you watch uh, uh, as this thing slowly slowly heats up so that should be pretty close to boiling now and of course uh, one of the best ways to check that uh, water is actually hot is um, to throw it into the face of a person you genuinely hate. Hey Ross, think fast! <laughs> what the hell? So what I've done to measure the uh, resistance of the um, platinum resistance thermometer in steam is I've set the thermometer itself up on a clamp stand so that it's held within the uh, kind of kettle. Um, so hopefully that's gonna raise the temperature a fair bit and then I'm going to balance the bridge. So you can probably hear the kettle is boiling furiously, uh, so I'm going to turn on the bridge. Uh, sorry, yeah, turn on the bridge. Uh, and I'm just going to adjust this until it reaches balance. I'm going to give it a minute, um, just because I want to make sure that it stays relatively balanced as the kettle boils, but it doesn't appear to be changing that much to me. Um, so, I think that would be our reading. <laughs>